In the last installment of the series, we found out that you can play 2016's Doom, even on the weaker GCN era Radeon video cards, without a shadow of a doubt. It may very well be that your old GPU can play the game as well. To drive this point across, let's see how the game runs on the bunch of misfits seen here. The 2GB GDDR5 low profile GT1030 from Asus. The also not using external power RX460, the 2GB variant built by Medion and the old 2GB GTX 770 from Inno3D. As per usual, we'll play the first few minutes of Doom at low settings, using the same Z230 workstation from HP. The CPU is the same i7-4770 equivalent Xeon, and it is paired with 32GB of DDR3 running in dual channel at 1600MHz. We'll start with 1080 results, and straight off the bat, the GTX 770 takes the lead, with 74FPS on average and 38FPS for the on and lows. This is actually ok for the single player game. During the initial fight against the Imps, I didn't recall the 1% lows being a problem. The slowest of the cars turns out to be the GT1030, with 43 FPS for the average and 32 for the 1% lows. Same remark here as with the 770 and the 1% lows. As for the RX460, well, the average of 51 FPS placed it in the middle of the pack. However, the 1% lows... Wow! Definitely last place. Only the GTX 770 can actually play the game at 1080, so we're going to start dropping the resolution. The first stop is at 1600 by 900, where the GTX 770 runs 14 FPS faster at 88 FPS average. The 1% lows, however, improve by only 7 FPS to 45. Ideally, we'd get 60 for the 1% lows, so even this Nvidia card may benefit from an even lower pixel count. The RX 416 averaged above 60 FPS, but the 1% lows are just as poor, at just 22 FPS. I hoped for more, and the former mid-range at 1080 now slides down to the last place. As for the GT 1030, well, the card averaged 10 more FPS than the RX 416, and is now our new middle performing card, at 71 FPS. But what's even more surprising is the 1% lows of 56 FPS. This last number is even better than what the GTX 770 managed to pull for the 1% lows. Bravo little Pascal, bravo. 720 resolution has the GTX 770 averaging over 100 FPS, but the 1% lows are still too low for my liking, at just 53 FPS. The RX 460 averaged a respectable 73 FPS, and a still problematic 23 FPS for the 1% lows and to think that Vulcan was an evolution of Mantle, an AMD technology. Without a question, 720 resolution is where the GT1030 shines, with an average of 96 FPS, just 9 fewer than the GTX 770. As for the 1% lows, the little Pascal smokes the Kepler card, with a nice 69 FPS. The performance of the GTX 770 was not that much of a surprise. Despite being a direct competitor of the R9 to 80, it does not have the same DirectX feature level support as the mentioned Radeon. AMD's RX 460 ended up as a bit of a disappointment. And funny enough, I did get a comment mentioning their preference of the GT1030 over the RX 460. The little Pascal was definitely the best of them at 720 resolution, despite coming in second for the average FPS. The 1% lowest number, above 60, is what gives it the edge in my opinion. Depending on how I manage to get my hands on a few other GPUs, this might not be the last installment of the series. Make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out. As for this video, we're done. I hope you enjoyed it 